Okay, handy video here. How to get Rocksmith 2014 working on a Windows 10 machine in three easy steps. One, place the application in compatibility mode and set it to Windows 7. This gets rid of about four problems straight off the bat. You also run it in, run it in Windows mode when you first get into it, otherwise it makes your whole screen flash. Once you've got it in that, you need to go to your main speaker device manage sound devices and you want to go to device properties additional device properties and ensure that these two are ticked allow application to take exclusive control and give exclusive mode to application priority unfortunately if you don't do this it won't recognize your sound output device the other thing is every time you plug in the uh, rocksmith usb cable you will need to go to device properties, additional device properties, levels, and pump it all the way up. Because every time you unplug the USB cable, it's going to forget this setting, and you're going to need to go back and do it every single time. And those are the three things you need to do. Other than that, play away. It is a rather annoying program because it's six years old, but at least I got it working. Did take me over an hour. I thought I'd put up this video just to make sure it doesn't make you take that long. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you leave any comments down below, I'll be sure to help you out. And um, putting it in the Windows 7 compatibility mode gets rid of all of the messing around trying to find compatible drivers for real tech audio because Windows deals with an application layer, only gives it Windows 7 interface, and it just works fine. Okay, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.